Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We have Scott from Kookaburra here today with us. He's been at Kookaburra for 10 years, so loads of experience. Uh, been through all the highs and lows of all the different designs. And today he's gonna go through the 2025 range of cricket bats with us. Scott, welcome to AJ Sports. You. you have replaced Matt, who is again. normally our popular go-to guy for YouTube videos. Bill, but yeah, I'll do what I can, yeah. Absolutely, so yeah. looking forward to a new range? Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll start off with the Kahuna, um, the model that we all know and love for the last 20 years. We've um, we've had quite a big graphical change on it this year, which you'll see as you run through the range of the bats. We've made the bird much bigger than last year, moved it to the side, and it also moves on to the edge of the bat this year as well. The colour goes through the top rather than anything down on the bottom, so the blade is nice and clear, and we've still got the emboss sticker on there as well. You've got all the English willow bats are saying handcrafted on there, which is a little change from last year. And you've got the little authenticity sticker on the edge of the English willow bats as well. Uh, the actual kahuna shape, we've kept it as we had last year with that spine that goes all the way down to the toe. A little bit of scallop in either side, but means we can give it big edges, big profile, and it's 2.8 to 2.10. So we're on to the ghost next, another long standing bat in the range. Uh, the same graphical changes that we mentioned on the Kahuna, again with the bird going round to the side. The difference from the Kahuna, the spine tapers away down at the toe, so it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but it's still got those big edges that we've got there. A little bit of scallop in either side, nice high spine, so it gives it a weight range of 2.8 to 2, 210, so hopefully that volume uh, weight range that people are after. So the Kahuna and the Ghost, they both have a bit of uh, concaving on the back? Just a little bit. I mean, it's one to two millimetres, so okay. it's just a tiny little bit. It's still quite full then. We want to give it a nice full profile. Yep. People are after big bats, big edges, but still nice pickup yep. and a decent weight range. So that 2.8 to 2.10 is hopefully what people are looking for. Yeah. Uh, so you mentioned that the Ghost tapers off at the bottom a lot more than the Kahuna does. Yep. What difference does that make to the performance? It's just with the ghost, it's got a lower middle to it, mm -hmm. which can give it quite a bad pickup. So what we do, we take away a little bit down at the toe, so it takes weight away, so you still get a real nice pickup with a lower middle on the bat. Okay, and do both of them have the standard length blade? Yes, they're standard short handle length uh, on the ghost and the kahuna. Okay. But like I say, slightly lower middle on the ghost, but still nice pickup, because we've taken that bit away down at the toe. Yep. So the stealth is the bat shape that we introduced last year. Uh, had a good year, so we kept that one going. It's the one with a real full profile to it. It's got the huge edges on the side. Uh, when I say full profile, it's minimal scalloping, if none. You can see the size of the bat on there, um, which gives it a weight range of 2.9 to 2.12. So it's the more heavier one. So that's because obviously the size of the bat that you're getting. Um, the difference on this one, you get a one inch longer handle and a one inch shorter blade. So it gives it a nice pickup, even though it's got the size of, or the size of the blade that there is on that. So let's just have a feel of that. So generally speaking, I mean, that, that's a very chunky, low middle sort of bat, but it's quite thick all the way through, yeah. even up into, into shoulders and all the way through to the toes. So we should not have too many issues with toe breaks, hopefully. Oh, none, none with the back, none with any of the back. <laughs> Absolutely, and <laughs> even the pickup, um, I did pick it up earlier as well. It feels really good for, for the weight it, it is. The longer handle and the mm. shorter blade, it gives it a nice pickup, even with, you know, a 212 plus bat. Yeah. Still picking it up and feeling it, feel that it's a lot lighter than it actually is. Yeah, yeah, it picks up really well, and I think yeah, that makes a big difference. Yeah, yeah. really nice bat. In the Stealth range, we've added an even bigger one, the Stealth Max, hence the warning sign on there. It's an absolute monster of a bat. Huge edges, massive full profile. There's no scalloping taken away either size. This is all about just having as big a bat as we can possibly do. Weights, it's going to be 212 up to three pound. It's yeah. designed to be a big, big bat that's sensible a long way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Assuming the it's a shorter blade, long handle. It's the same as the stealth range in that, yeah. Yep. You just get the, the extra profile on it compared to the, the other stealth bats. Okay, and uh, just looking at all the uh, different models that you've yep. brought out this year, they come with 
what seems like different grades, 1.1, 2.1. How does that work out? We try and make it as easy as you can. The pro is the pro grade, yeah. 1.1 is grade one, 2.1 is grade two, 3.1 is grade three yeah. onwards. Okay. So it's the number on the bat is the grade of the bat. Yeah. So hopefully it simplifies it and makes it nice and clear for the English. Yeah, absolutely. I think that really helps, especially when a customer comes in, wants to buy a bat. They want a grade two around that sort of range. Yeah. And if they can just see straight away it's a grade two, yeah. it makes life a lot easier for us and the customer. So it's hopefully it's very clear and, and honest and yeah, makes it easier for people. Yep. Now we're on to the Aura, another bat that we've had before in the range, but obviously the change of graphics that I've mentioned previously. This one, again, has got the big edges to it, the big profile. The difference to this one, it's taken away a little bit more at the toe, which means you save on weight there. You can put more into the other areas of the bat. So it gives it a nice lightweight pickup. Notice the silicon grip on this one. Yes, yeah, it means you can see obviously the graphics underneath it, so a little something different from the other bats. Silicon grip, I think, feels nice. It's got a little bit of give to it. Hmm. But would you would you say that grip is that much different from a traditional grip? Oh, doesn't make a massive difference. It's going to last a bit longer because it's silicon, because okay. it's quite a tough material. Mm -hmm. um, you get, still get a similar feel. So yeah. You don't want anything too different from traditional back grips. But like I say, longevity is good on it, and I think it just gives you a little bit more cushioning, and cushioning on there when you feel it. Yeah, it's definitely a lot softer yeah. Yeah. feeling. So, yeah, I mean, I think if you prefer thin handles, this is probably not the grip, but if you prefer, you know, you may not need a second grip on this one. Yeah. So it's nice cushioned and slightly thicker. Yeah, you've got the option to take that and put the thinner grip on there, so yeah. you, kind of, yeah, you can tailor it to, to what you prefer. Okay, and graphics look re really nice and yeah. Yeah, nice strong. Yeah, last year. Yeah, absolutely. Right, so we've got the Rapid next, which is the lightweight bat in the range. So this is the 2.6 to 2.8 bat. You can see slightly smaller edges, but still good size edges. You've still got a good high spine on there little bit of scallop in either side so you're still getting a decent sized bat for a lightweight yeah so you get 2628 is a weight range on the rapid model yeah sometimes we get customers who are just getting into cricket or who are getting into a short handle bat who may need an even lighter or even a 12 13 year old really tall 12 13 year old yeah. who even a 2627 might be a bit heavier yeah do you have an option which is even lighter? We have this year. So with the Rapid, we've done the Rapid Ultralight. Oh, and that's... So you get it 2.4 to 2.6. So it's an even lighter, as you've mentioned, yeah, that yeah. than previous. Again, still decent size edges and profile for, a, for about that light. Mm. Uh, what we've done is we've lengthened the handle by an inch and shortened the blade by an inch. Okay. Similar to what we do in, in the Stealth, is that and the Cocoon Light, which we've done previously. So it gives it a real nice light pickup, but still decent size back. Two, four, two, six. So that's yes. closer to a more sort of a harrow size. It's almost a harrow size, bike, yeah, in, yeah. A, in a short handle back. Yeah, that's that's really light. That that feels really light in the hand. So this this will be ideal for the youngster coming through um, exactly. into a handle. Except before the teenager who's very tall but hasn't yeah. got the strength yet for a proper full size, you know, yeah. not heavyweight, but, you know, two, eight plus back. It gives them an option to have a proper short handle, but a much lighter option. Would the performance be compromised in any way? Yeah, no, because it, it's the same profile as the normal Rapid. You're still getting more than enough power out of the bat. It's still yeah. obviously an English Willow bat, still got decent side edges, so you're not compromising performance with it. Yeah, good addition, definitely. Right, so the last one in the range is the brand new one, the Nickel which we've added this year. So we've got the Ghost and the Stealth as the kind of, you know, stripped back colorways. And we've added a chrome one into the range as well, which is the Nickel. We've taken a little bit away down at the toe, so you can still get the big edges to it, the big profile, but it still gets it into that 2.8 to 2.10 uh, weight range. Nickel rings a bell. You yes. guys had it a few yes, years ago? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we had it a few years ago like the name of it so we've brought it back but it is a different bat different shape and yeah. graphics to the nickel we had a few years ago so it is a, a brand new bat and does it have a slightly higher middle 
compared to the others, or is it's it? Not, it's one of the lower medals in the range, okay. uh, along with the Ghost. Yeah. Um, again, that's where we've, uh, when we mentioned earlier about taking weight down at the toe. Yeah. So even though it's a lower middle, it still gives it a nice pickup. Yeah, it's, it's got really good sort of wood all the way through to the to the shoulder as yeah. well. So that actually improves longevity on either the toe and the shoulder. Yeah. So you'll get hopefully fewer breaks. Yes, absolutely. Scott, really good range for 2025. Looking yeah. forward to them hitting the shelves, which should yeah. be very soon now. Um, what is your favorite model out of all of them? My favorite model, I suppose the one I'd use. Um, have all the vibrancy and the color we use. I'm a ghost <laughs> man. <Yeah. laughs> Traditional, great graphics, yeah. lovely looking back. Yeah, I'm, I'm ghost all the way. Yeah, that's one of our best sellers as well, alongside Kahuna. Normally, Kahuna and Ghost are the sort of flagship models yeah, now for Coca Brown. For years now, yeah. yeah. Kahuna, Ghost alongside each other, great, great bats. Brilliant. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. No, it's been a real me. pleasure. Uh, range looks great. Can't wait for it to hit our shelves, like I said. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, uh, leave them in the section below. Subscribe to our channel and like the video. Thank, thank you very you. much.